This is Trey at two, True North's base camp, really good Christian event, and he's going to shoot this 938 SAS Generation 2 and give us his opinion. You may fire when ready, Gridley. And Trey, what did you think about the action the way it shot? I'm not a big SIG fan. Um, having fired and shot several, it has a good grip. I do like the ergonomics on it. It has smooth action. It's got a pretty hard, slow trigger. There's a long trigger pull on it. Um, I'm familiar with the SAS optics, but this one, for some reason. That's because you own a 6, 360 or a 365. 365 and carry it. But this Being one a has been my fan, carry, right? and I okay. put uh, probably put 500 to 1,000 rounds through it. I am a fan of that one, but for some reason this one was shooting consistently low. Um, it's a good gun. It's got good weight. It actually has good balance to it. Um, it's a good, good, good all-around gun. Okay, thank you, Trey. This is Steve at Two uh, North Ministries Base Camp out shooting the gun range. Go ahead, Steve. So Steve, what'd you think about that? Um, I I, I love the uh, the optics on it. Being able to open both eyes at the same time, that that's impressive. That's for a, either a concealed carry or a home use. I, I just love that part of it. The trigger is a little tight to pull. Um, I don't know that I was really expecting that much from it the, the, i'm not a, a a mini fan personally i like a full size so i don't shoot a mini that often but uh overall it, it acted and reacted exactly as i hoped it would great thank you steve okay. this is ken he's participating in the true north ministries uh base camp really good guy been watching him shoot pretty decent shot for a sheep dog okay ken go ahead Well, what'd you think, Ken? You sound like you did a pretty good job there. I'll take three out of five, but um, yeah, it, 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 it's a little snappy. You know, little small guns are typically like that. Um, I like the grip swell on it. It's comfortable to hold my smaller hands. I can get my, I can get my pinky on the grip, which is nice. I feel like I can control it fairly well for a small gun, but you know, for a- What'd you think of the sights? Oh, the sights are amazing. The sights are truly amazing. Yep. Yeah, I'd love to have another crack at it sometime. Well, today's a good day. Thank you. Okay. Okay, this is the target. Shot at 15 feet. It's uh, pretty much grouped here. Had some down there. Still kill shot, but or hit some damage anyway. But that trigger is, needs a little work. Maybe some proper grease on it, some dry fire and get it broke in. But it shoots good, it's crisp, it's a little travel, but not much. Once you get used to it, you got that travel taken up before you shoot, which is good. Uh, that's why I would work it anyway. So it did pretty good, I thought. Hi, it's Clint, the Warriors and Sheepdogs. Today we're talking about the it had evaluated the Sig Sauer 938SAS. It's the what I call a second generation because I had the first one to put out right here. Had a commenter tell me in a comment that mine wasn't an SAS, yet in the picture it showed SAS. So I don't know what he jumped to or jumped off of or jumped too quick to criticize and not read carefully or look at the pictures carefully, but this is the original SAS. Much different looking than the uh, 
one we're talking about today, the current SAS second generation, 938. The, the main difference is in these guns is this one, both of them are seven shot magazines, eight, one to two. This one's got a wider slide to accommodate the bullseye back sight. This little plastic piece up here lets in ambient light, so it puts a circle around the dot in the middle, which makes the bullseye. So, but if you're in a dark, it still has the bullseye, but it doesn't have the ring around it. In the light, it works really well. When you're shooting, be real careful, because that bullseye touches the ring anywhere, that's where the rounds go. If he touches at 5 o'clock on the ring, that's where you're going to shoot. If he touches at the 2 o'clock, that's where you're going to shoot. So, you have to have a dead center when you squeeze off the round. This is a single action weapon only, like the uh, 1911. The only difference is it doesn't have a, a grip safety like the 1911. One other thing this thing is unlike the 1911, it, uh, it has a uh, safety, ambidextrous safety, which they do have some of those. But this one here, you can load it or unload it and leave the safety on. And I really like that saves from, because unloading loading is when you like have a lot of your uh, unintentional discharges. This little gun comes with one seven round mag, it's got the little finger rest there. Uh, I like that real well. My gun, I have several of it with a finger rest. Comes with uh, Hogue rubber, black rubber grips, which really, really good. Guys that shot this really like that grip on there. Uh, this gun weighs about 16 ounces. Unloaded, so it's a little heavier than the first generation one. Uh, doesn't come with a uh, threaded barrel, but you probably can get a threaded barrel for it. I got one for mine, right? My uh, first generation. It's all stainless like this one is, but it's got different kinds of hard coating, anodized uh, finishes on it. Uh, stainless steel slide stuff. This is this uh, frame is a is the hard coated anodized and then the slide is stainless barrel stainless anyway uh retails around 710 bucks i clicked online for it thing doesn't give us msrp so online i found it for 747 but 710 so i'm putting that down as an average uh i really like this little gun it shot really well didn't recoil that bad there is a little wiggle on the trigger but you pull that back where it's solid and then you just squeeze it there's a little drag Oops, safety <laughs> pull back a little bit there it is fires so anyway it's a great little gun it's uh, very good for your pocket and your jeans uh, your back pocket some guys like that I don't like that and probably who wouldn't carry it that way too many risks involved but the front pocket's good uh, you can't buy a holster for this uh, in leather as because they didn't tell anybody who's making it so uh, I told Galco and they're making I'm going to start making holsters for this and I think their stinger model uh, I have one of our stingers and the extra double extra mag pouch for my little SAS and I love that little holster it has no strap on top it just fits in there it fits close I love that little holster so Galco is going to be making that holster. I would wait to get one of those. Uh, if you are particular about your holster you're carrying a gun in, because it's part of your uh, rig, it's part of your uh, carry, and uh, you can have quality uh, holsters and stuff, so you can you know, defend yourself and others if you have to. So anyway, this is a, like I said, it's a great gun. It shoots really well. It's very accurate, just like mine was. Uh, I was hitting metal targets with it at uh, 20 yards, not a problem. I think once I get figured out the bullseye thing, uh, I do say that my uh, 9, uh, the uh, 365 SAS with a bullseye sight, I was actually a little better accurate with that because it's a little bit bigger gun, but it was a great little gun too. So, if you see the wind's blowing, uh, we had 15 inches of rain this week, so it's pretty wet out here kind of kept me from doing outside filming for a while. Anyway, uh, appreciate you coming. Check out the article. It has all the stats with this gun. And uh, 
watch your six, and I hope you're blessed and be safe.